with me hey y'all <laughs> i'm back just like that i'm back already so i go into my job and they have this thing where you're supposed to unpack the boxes it's called freight or whatever and um usually you, you get about six boxes and you unpack those boxes you know stop them or whatnot so i get in at five um the time you're supposed to start putting up boxes is at six o'clock Hey, so I talked to the girl that is going to be working with me tonight who is the manager on duty and I asked her I said what what do you need me to do she was just like just do these a uh, couple boxes for me um couple boxes meaning um some other boxes she had out already and she said just go ahead the hell she said go ahead and um do these boxes and you're good so I'm over there conversating with her helping her with the box and then the the store manager which is the person who is in charge instead of saying to me directly hey um cleopatra get your own boxes and you know whatever she directs it to the other girl and she's like tell her she need to get her own boxes and i'm thinking i'm just thinking like i i i, I dealt with too much today already y'all taking my hours Y'all be disrespectful. I come in on time and you telling me I'm an hour early. I'm just dealing with too much shit with y'all today. So I call my husband and I tell him what happened. And he was like, you know, basically neither here nor there with it. Because he knows I've been complaining about this job for months. And um, so... um. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just tired of it because they all do what they want to do on the job all day, every day. They do whatever they want to do. They wear inappropriate clothing. That's not to policy. They, if it, I remember this one lady clocked in at 9.30, left at about 12 and was still clocked in 9.30 that night when we closed the store. And you mean to tell me I can't clock in an hour early? You mean to tell me I got to set up six boxes and then break them down in a half an hour? You're crazy. So I'm just not going to be bullied anymore. As a matter of fact, when, as soon as I get home, I'm making phone calls. I'm making phone calls to the district manager. I'm making phone calls to corporate. I'm making phone calls to the vice president, to the CEO. I'm making um, phone calls to the EOC, Equal Opportunity Commission, or whatever they're called. I'm making phone calls as soon as I get home. And I'm letting these people know who they have working in their company. Because trust me, you do not want these type of people working for you. Especially if they're running custom, cu customers out the store. You know what I mean? When a customer comes in and says to you, Oh my God, you're a breath of fresh air because I'm so tired of dealing with all these other women and their attitudes for whatever reason. You know that these are not the tip type of people that should be working for a major company. So I basically just walked out. I walked in 10 minutes and then I walked back out. I don't need anybody treating me like I'm a fucking child. You know, I'm 30 fucking years old. You got something to say to me. You can say it directly. You know what I'm saying? Stop playing with my money. Stop playing with my hours. You know, I got four children. Just because my husband is has his own company don't mean I don't need to make money too. So I think I'm, uh, I'm finally done with the job. I told y'all before I left, I was done. And me, once I'm done, I'm done. And um, I was leaving already. I was already on my way halfway home when the girl called me and told me to come back. You know, and um, so I just, I I only came back because I knew that I was going to be working with her. She has a great attitude. She's a really good manager. You know, she knows what she's doing. And she's the same age as me. Now, the other women who are 40, 50 years old, they act like children. So, I, I just had enough. I'm done. I don't have to kiss nobody's ass. So, I'm out tomorrow all day and plus i'm i'm supposed to be off tomorrow anyway all day tomorrow is nothing but job hunting for me and i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get me a job within the next couple days so i'm not concerned yeah you don't have to put up with none of that, none of that childishness unless you absolutely have to you know and I'm, I'm really sorry for um a lot of people who do have to go through things like that and have to put up with uh unprofessional people it's it's a shame it's a shame you know what i mean and this area where i'm at customer service has always been horrible it doesn't matter where i go whether it's burger king or the hospital 
that it's just horrible so i was just like i can't do this i cannot do this and then at, for 15 hours a week eight dollars an hour that's a 300 dollars check that ain't shit and before that, I was getting a $500, $600 check, which I thought was decent. I didn't think it was good. I thought it was decent. Now they're giving me this bum-ass check and treating me like a bum, and they expect me to, 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 to sit there and take it. I'm not going to do it. I've been, I've been bullied my whole damn life. I'm not going to be bullied at work. You fucking kidding me? So, yeah, that's over and done with. And the company that I was working for is called City Trans. <laughs> City Trans piece of shit company city trends ain't shit it's called shitty trends so now that i've quit i can finally reveal to y'all that i have been working at the the place that i did most most if not all of my shopping now i'm never going back there they they lost my they lost my business as an employee and they lost my damn money because that's where i spent my whole fucking checkup in there and i'm done with that done with it it's over and done with so yeah i, I i'm done I can't be bullied on my job. I'm sorry. I'm not 15 years old. I'm not going to be bullied by a bunch of 50-year-old women. So that's over and done with. And um, yeah, I'll be working on my new endeavors, my new venture. I don't know what it's going to be, but trust me, it's going to be better than that. All right, y'all. This is the Your Girl, the Original Boss Babe, the OBB, signing off. Um, yeah, I'm going home. Y'all have a good one. Deuces. <laughs>